Hi, this is Michael Tro from All The Best Solutions. I just wanted to put together a quick video for you after um, Soho made quite an exciting announcement today that I'm going to say finally they've made some changes, enhancements to how the homepage works in Zoho CRM. And just wanted to show you what that means. Um, ultimately, it's going to be a system that means that now as an administrator, uh, you can share homepages, predefined homepages with your users collectively or uh, by groups. And so now there's not going to be any more uh, messing around people putting up wrong stuff on their homepage or not doing it at all. Um, one of the reasons I think this is such an important topic is that the homepage historically is meant to be a, a real valuable tool. Something that's when you log in as a user, you see information that's going to help you. Information that's supposed to give you access uh, to the information you need and enable you to be able to prioritize how you work that day. Um, the problem is, and the reality is that when we log into people's um, accounts, we've been told that this has been taken care of, that people are doing uh, all this stuff themselves. Uh, but then when we log in, we'll typically see this. And this is the getting started default splash page. If you've been using CRM for a while, you probably haven't seen this uh, for a long time. Hopefully not. Um, but this is what we see. And this is going to have no value to you as a user. The other things we see is um, the classic view, um, which is, again, a default view that's you know, Zoho's interpretation of what can be useful to people. The other thing we typically see is the customizable homepage with very few or no customizations at all. And this is a real shame. And I think people are missing out on some... Uh, big opportunities here and now uh, we've got a way of being able to help drive this internally and help drive adoption. For example, one of the things we typically see is this um, the default components here uh, such as open tasks. Now I'm going to let you know if you didn't already that this is completely useless in multi-user groups. The reason being that this is showing every open task in the entire system for every single user. So if I'm a user and I'm trying to get an indication of what I'm supposed to do first thing today, this isn't going to help me. The same with looking at the potentials. It's not showing open potentials, it's showing all potentials in the whole system. It's not going to help me whatsoever. So we've always been trying to encourage people to put um, information here, whether charts or lists, that's going to help, as I say, um, drive their day-to-day -day performance. But you also may find that as an organization, you may want to put stuff up here in totality or in part that's uh, sales enablement, adoption driven, you know, charts, um, that are say, you know, showing other users how they're comparing to their, their peers in performance, whether it's number of tasks created, number of opportunities created or closed, whatever it may be. Um, so as I say, now we can do that. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to show it in huge detail, but we'll show you the basics and it is extremely simple. Um, we're gonna go to this customized homepage option here, and then that's just gonna take you into setup and the customized homepage area. All this means is that once you've created your homepage, you'll be able to share it with um, different people by role. So if your role structure is set up in a certain way, you can decide to make the default homepage. That's very important. This is going to be the default homepage now for these people um, by role. Um, you can also toggle it on or off if you want to try out different homepages or whatever it may be. Um, when it's being built, very simply, you're going to need to have built all your charts and all your views beforehand, especially those related to tasks and opportunities. You need to have custom views for those off the shelf ones will not meet your needs. Um, but once it's all in place, it's very simple. If you want to just add uh, a, an, a, something to your um, home page, you can just select it here and lo and behold, it will pop up. And then if you want to move it, uh, relocate it, you can um, quickly drag and drop everything uh, as you would if you were just building it yourself in the old way. Um, once you save it, those changes are going to automatically push to these people that you shared the home page with um, the next time they log in or when they refresh their screen. This is the first home page you're going to see. It's very simple to set up. Uh, as you can see, once you've built everything, it's just drag and drop. That's not what's going to take the time. Uh, the time is going to take planning and thinking about what information is going to add the most value. Um, if you're not familiar with you know, building custom views that can be quite complex and logic, that also may take you a little bit of time. But as always, you know, think about it. Think about what's going to be best. Uh, try it, test it, uh, and roll it out. That's all that's going to happen uh, to help you get to the next level. And um, if you do have any questions, as always, please feel free to ask. Uh, you can drop me an email at your.needs at allthebestsolutions.com. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, um, where we'll also be adding new videos like this on a frequent basis. Thanks very much.